So, Melissa, in this week's episode, you broke down the infamous Gardner Museum heist back in 1990. Let's play some of that. The thieves were inside the museum for 81 minutes and they oh stole gosh. 13 pieces of art worth hundreds of millions of dollars. It appeared, though, that the thieves really didn't know what they were doing and they had no real plan for which pieces to steal. For example, they left the most valuable painting in the museum alone, but took lesser items that were really close by it. To this day, none of the pieces of art that were stolen have been recovered, although authorities have been able to track some of the art's movement at different times, but they have still never been able to actually locate it. One of my favorite museums, by the way. So, Melissa, tell us, how do your listeners react to these less gruesome sort of palate cleanser episodes that you do? You know, it goes all over the spectrum. Some people really just love to hear a murder story. And then some people like us appreciate these kind of stories where it just kind of is a palate cleanser and you have, you know, something else. It's a great story. It's super interesting, but nobody dies. And that's the way we always say, you know, hey, we're listening to a story this week. Nobody dies. It's, you know, it's exciting for us. We enjoy that, too. <laughs> we all do. And Mandy, tell me, how did both of you connect over your mutual fascination with these two crime stories? Um, I think Melissa and I both kind of had started our love for just true crime in general, watching things like Dateline, Forensic Files, all these things on TV um, from a younger age. And as we kind of became friends and, you know, we were adults then, we realized that we shared that similar interest, that we both were interested in the topic of true crime. Um, and so she came to me one day and said, hey, I know this might sound crazy to you, but would you consider trying to start a podcast with me where we can share some of these stories? And yeah, I just said, OK, and uh, here we are today still <laughs> doing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so a little different from the plot of Only Murders in the Building on Hulu, which is a fantastic show, by the way. Melissa, quickly, <laughs> so I'll ask you, what are the stories over time that have, that have stuck with you the most? Um, the stories I'm always drawn to are the stories with forgiveness and uh, some sort of redemption. And one that really sticks out to me is the story of Michael Morton. Back in the 80s, he was convicted of murdering his wife and sentenced to life in prison. And he... Um, you know, after 25 years, DNA finally exonerates him and he's able to reunite this family. He's found faith while in prison. And now he works to help innocent people who are in prison. He works with the Innocence Project. I love stories like that. I, I wish, you know, there was more. We try to tell as many as we can because, you know, we, we love to see that. We want that. You know, we want the exoneration. We want those things. So I think it's important for us to share them. And those are the ones I'm, I'm really drawn to. Forgiveness and redemption, a good note to close on. Melissa Ritchie and Mandy Espy, thank you both. Appreciate your time with us today. And you can tune in to Moms and Murder wherever you get your podcasts. New episodes drop every Tuesday.